presidential candidate John McCain has now not once but twice crossed ethical guidelines laid down for presidential candidates by John McCain. In our third story tonight, he's such a maverick, he not only doesn't play by other people's rules, he doesn't even play by his own rules. Less than a week after McCain called a North Carolina Republican ad tying local Democrats to Reverend Wright by way of Barack Obama offensive and divisive, McCain yesterday said he would not comment about Wright and then proceeded to comment about Wright, dredging up, exaggerating, mischaracterizing his remarks, justifying all of it by pointing out that Obama himself called Wright, quote, a legitimate political issue, somehow making it okay for McCain to engage in behavior he has called offensive and divisive. And after McCain told the Arizona Republic last year that he would not tap his wife's beer money for his campaign, the New York Times now reports that until last month, McCain used her corporate jet, similar to this one, as a virtually exclusive campaign charter, reimbursing her beer company at less than quarter rates, thanks to a loophole in the law which he supported, which exempted family-owned planes. It's coming just as McCain is now calling Obama out of touch with the poor for opposing McCain's proposed summertime suspension of the 18-cent gas tax, 18 cents less than the increase in gas prices in just the last two weeks. That's not even airplane fuel. We turn now to MSNBC political analyst Rachel Maddow, whose own show airs weeknights on Air America Radio. Good evening, Rachel. Hi, Keith. What are the risks uh, for McCain of trying to play good cop, bad cop, the solitaire version? <laughs> Himself. Yeah. Both cops and yes. one guy. Yeah. I, I think there's kind of two risks. The first is that his political identity evaporates. Rightly or wrongly, he spent 20 years cultivating and conjuring this image of himself as somebody who has strong political principles, who doesn't bend in the prevailing political winds. If he becomes known as a flip-flopper on everything from Falwell to torture now to the wisdom and, and, and ethics of campaigning on Jeremiah Wright, then that's going to be very low-hanging fruit for his Democratic opponent if he ever has one. The other risk, though, is that I think guilt by association tactics could be kind of a fast drive down a short street for John McCain. I mean, the more the current ones, John Hagee and Rod Parsley and all of these other people he's made recent political alliances with, but also going right all the way back to Charles Keating in the early say. days in the early days of his career. That's not something I think that he wants to invite scrutiny on uh, the guilt by association issue. Yeah, Mr. Keating, played by the great actor uh, James Cromwell, I think, in the movie. If, if you're strategizing for Obama in the light of today's speech from from Reverend Wright. Which of the options hangs McCain the furthest out to dry? I think that if Obama goes aggressive on this, it could actually be a real problem for John McCain. Because mm -hmm. what Obama could do, and I'm not sure I've seen an inclination toward this type of aggression in the Obama campaign, but what he could do is he could say, listen, my personal private relationship with my pastor is now being dragged through the mud for political reasons. I have no political alliance with Jeremiah Wright. I disavow his political views. He disavows my political Apparently. views. But John McCain has made political associations. He's made overt public political associations in the past year with extremist religious figures like John Hagee and Rod Parsley, and going so far as to campaign with Rod Parsley within the last year. It may have national security implications for the United States of America, for the Republican presidential candidate to have an association with a pastor, to call his spirit a, a spiritual guide, a pastor who says that the United States was founded in part to destroy the religion of Islam. John McCain should explain himself on that because it may have implications for our country. Yeah. I'm not sure we, we've seen that sort of aggression yet from Obama, but I think that would be the, the tack that would hurt McCain the most. And, of course, as we were just joking about beforehand, the next anti-right ad could come from the Obama camp, but I, I'll believe yeah. that when I see it. <laughs> right. uh, this issue of being in touch with the poor. McCain, was, was he on his wife's uh, Air Bud McPlain when he said that? <laughs> Who has the foresight to write into campaign finance legislation a loophole that exempts your personal family corporate jet from corporate finance for, from campaign finance loopholes so that you, I mean, I, I, who I don't know that this puts him more in touch with the poor it does establish his rich guy cojones like nothing else I have seen well he may know more about the economy than we thought yes. in the, and, and if it had been any more specific it would have said if if it's in the uh, liquor or alcohol distribution business if it's okay. used for that last point here at the, at the risk of addressing policy instead of controversy oh, McCain no. dreamt up the gas tax rollback Senator Clinton went one further and said okay we'll do it but here's how we fund it mm -hmm. which was a creative sort of spin on this why doesn't Obama support the idea of rolling back the, the tax as far as I know that what Obama has explained is that with the gas tax goes to fund things like maintenance repair and building of new roads and bridges mm -hmm. and if you 
take away that funding without replacing it, you not only are doing our infrastructure a disservice, but you're also causing a lot of construction workers to be out of jobs, because that tends to be something that creates a lot of jobs in the construction industry. Senator Clinton has proposed essentially refunding the highway, uh, the highway money with a windfall tax on oil companies that does open up a whole other can of worms, but it seems like a pretty rational reason on both of their, pretty, pretty rational arguing on both of their sides uh, from my take on it. Yeah, so there's nothing to, we can't make a controversy out of it. I don't think so. Damn. Rachel Maddow of Air America and MSNBC, thanks for coming in. Thank you.